Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Woo! Hello everybody! My name is Rick Alvarez. I am in the library, a.k.a. the basement, a.k.a. the vault, and today it's Cut the Tape. It's Cut the Tape Day, birthday edition. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not my birthday today. It was my birthday yesterday, but because of festivities, I'm going to do the birthday show tonight. So, what are we going to do tonight? Well, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do some blind boxes right you know what i saw they just put the case out at gamestop and i'm like i don't know what this is about i've never seen these before i'm gonna buy the whole thing so i can get this nice display box there's a chase figure we'll get into that i bought yet another another transformers gi joe gamestop exclusive lunchbox we'll get into this we're gonna get all up in that we're gonna we're gonna explain what's going on with that, and then I thought we'd open something that's been sitting here for a while. Uh, Titty GS One O. I, I guess that stands for Takara Tomy. So, if you know, you know. If you don't know, we're gonna get into this, and then if we're t if there's time, I got some sealed G One stuff I want to open. All right, so we're gonna start with this actually. One side is GI Joe, other side is Transformers. These are still available at GameStop. These are exclusives to GameStop. Now they come with Funko Pops, one Joe, one Transformer. I'm interested in the Transformer ones. There's two of them, they're blind box, so you don't know if you're gonna get Optimus or Megatron. The difference between these is that they have the energy weapon. So this is the third one I've opened. First two I got were both Megatrons. I'm hoping for an Optimus. These are about 30 bucks. So I'm going to turn the camera down right here. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to turn the camera down right there. Yeah, look at those hairy arms I got. I'm like a Yeti. All right, so here we go. Trash can. I guess I shouldn't hide the price tag. I just told you what it was. Only at GameStop. Now, I don't really shop at GameStop a whole lot because I don't play video games. I don't play video games because when I play video games, I fall down and get real dizzy. Same reason I can't ride rides. Quick story about that. I was at Six Flags in California riding something called the Hurricane. Now, you're it's a roller coaster, but the chair that you're in also spins 360 degrees using the centrifugal force of the roller coaster i remember getting on but i don't remember getting off i remember waking up surrounded by paramedics and that was the last time i ever rode a roller coaster <sighs> big money big money big money no whammy <sighs> it's a megatron it's a megatron But I think this is different. I think I may have gotten the Decepticon keychain before. So that is new, but it's a Megatron. Yay, if you've got an Optimus and you want to trade, find me. It's a metal lunchbox, it's nice. I wish kids today would use metal lunchboxes. They can't anymore because um, they're technically weapons. Let's get into these. Transformers Domes. There's been so much Transformers product coming out lately. I I just, you know, you're going to miss some things here and there. Anyway, Transformers Domes. 
I don't know if they're exclusive. I, I don't know anything about them. I saw them. So the domes can all click together. And there's Optimus, Megatron, Bumblebee, Starscream, Jazz, Soundwave, and a Chase. Now that Chase, I guarantee you... Oh, well, it has the silhouette of Starscream, so... Will it be a Seeker, or will it be a Ghost of Starscream, or a Gold Starscream? I don't know. It's a nice uh, display case, or display box, for a uh, point of sale. I like stuff like this. I like keeping the point of sale displays. All right. Oh, look at this. They even have a little uh, plastic tab that flips up on the back so you can hang them on, uh, on a shelf. Here. Ha ha! Yeah, like that. See that? Yeah. That's what's up. All right, now what I like about these, as opposed to like, remember FCF figures? You actually had to cut the box open to get those those things out. This one, you just cut the tape. <gasps> That's the name of our show. So now it's a blind bag inside of a blind box. Uh, I'm gonna say it's jazz. Nope, it's Bumblebee, yeah, it's Bumblebee. Now, can we take him out of the dome? I think, so look at the bottom of it. If we were to push these in, he would come out of the dome, but I don't think he is, these are meant to be opened. I think I would have to break these in order to get Bumblebee out. And then I'm guessing he's glued to the base. So there really would be a point. Domes is a product of Jazzwares. It's a nice little touch on the inside of the box. Now, if they took a Red Series approach and said, hey, here's Transformers Prime Knockout, here's Animated Lockdown, Here's a um, movie hound. Well, there'd be royalty issue with that one, but you get what I'm saying. There's only so much G1 you can get. Even the G1ers get tired of G1. This is an Autobot because there was a little hole in the bag and there was a red base sticking out. And it's, oh my God, I can't believe it. I got Bumblebee. That's awesome. So we can click these together like this. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy, actually. Or we can do front and back. Nope, we can't do front and back. We can't do front and back. But right here, these plug in. Nice, right? It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Uh, so far, so good. I'm going to put him to the side. Take one from the back, shall we? So I bought the whole case. They were cheap. They were four bucks. There are 16 in a case because I wanted to see if I had a chance of getting a chase figure if I bought a whole case. There's Jazz. Uh, drop me a comment who you think would play jazz. I think, uh, I, I don't know why, but I got Andrew Dice Clay stuck in my head to play jazz. Oh, Optimus, Hickory Dickory Dot, Decepticons at 12 o'clock. Oh, I would love for Christopher Walken to play Alpha Trion Starscream you prime you gotta use the matrix uh, it's powerful you know all 
or am I, or am I crazy? Well, I am a little crazy. A little crazy's good, right? <laughs> Sometimes I talk on the show the way I talk when I'm alone. And I don't know if I should share that with you. Oh, I was hoping for this guy. It's Bumblebee. That's a little weird that there's so many bumblebees in, in this case. Uh, I don't really think people know outside of G1 who Bumblebee is. Because, I mean, you know, what else? He wasn't in Armada, right? He wasn't in Energon. So, like, where else has Bumblebee been seen, right? Like, I, I mean, I guess he was in Transformers Prime. Uh oh. But other than that, you know, I can't think of an example of where Bumblebee... I, I don't know. I don't know why they make the choices they make. Is it Bumblebee again? Oh, man, I got Megatron. I was hoping for Bumblebee. Aw. So we got four out of the six. No Optimus yet. Three Bumblebees, zero Optimus. And that's like your core character. This has to be an Optimus. Big money. Nope. It's a Starscream. Wah, wah. How many have we opened? We've opened seven. Four out of seven. What's the percentage on that? So I had a very exciting birthday. I turned 42. My wife gave me an awesome gift. She, um, she bought me a frame and picture shop. Yeah. So I'm going to, uh, Megatron. So Rick Alvarez is going to open a frame and picture shop. The lady was retiring. We were talking about buying the business. She's a good friend. She's framed all my art that I have. So coming August 2021. Because we're in 2020. Yeah, 20. Yeah, August 2021. Hey, there's Optimus. Boom. Ah! There's Optimus. You know what? He doesn't have his blaster. None of these guys have blasters. That's odd. I mean, the artwork is G1, and it has a blaster. But none of these guys are holding blasters. Jazz doesn't have his grappling hook. Bumblebee doesn't have his spike. Did we get Jazz? We got Jazz. We got a Jazzy Jeff. Who else would you pick if you had to recast Transformers? I like unconventional. I like unconventional choices. William Shatner, maybe, as uh, Ultra Magnus. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Prime, I've got to alert the Autobots on Autobot City. This is an, op an Autobot, so it's an Optimus. Not even gonna take it out. It's an Optimus. It's an Optimus. Huh. So far, got a bunch of extras. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen. I have to open them all, right? Because I need to know if I have a chase or not. Oh. 
Oh my, yes. Ha ha, we have a chase. It's Skywarp and he comes with a golden base. Breaking news, Skywarp is the chase. I mean, he's also the chase of those statues that are available at Target, right? Which I have not been able to find. And then Thundercracker is the chase at a... Uh... Walgreens, that's another Megatron. Who, who are we looking for? Shockwave or Soundwave? Soundwave. Three guys left. One of them has to be a Soundwave. If I don't get a full set out of this, I, I'm going to be annoyed. And then I'm going to have to go to another GameStop and buy more. That'll teach you. <sighs> I'm getting nervous. I'm getting real nervous. This is another Optimus. Getting real nervous here, guys. Real nervous. Two dogs left. Getting really, really nervous here. Please don't be Bumblebee. Oh, what a relief. Soundwave. So, there we go. So we got one left. Now the question is, do we open it or do we leave it sealed? Because it could be another chase. I bet you it's another sound wave. The right answer, don't worry about it. Don't cut the tape. It's simple, just don't do it. We're gonna put all these guys back, right? We got our loose set. I like to have a set sealed, one sealed for posterity. Right? I wish I had some sealed FCF figures. But you got to open them because you got to find out if you've got a chase. Oh, man. There we go. All right. Moving on. This is something uh, I've had here for quite some time. So Transformers... Beast Wars was a series. It was CGI. In Japan, they had Beast Wars 2 in the long wait between the first season of Beast Wars and season 2. In season 2 of Beast Wars, or in Beast Wars 2, as it's called, they had a repaint of Piranacon. That is what this is. This is a Generation Select figure. It is the gift set. It's something I honestly thought we would never see. Ooh, it's been cut. But here it is. Now I've heard that these have been coming misassembled and break easily. There we go. Nice, it's got the Predacon symbol on the back because yes, these are Predacons. And here's our pizza box. There should be something on the back of the box saying, if you can read this, your pizza is upside down or your pizza's round. So, this is five out of the six Seacons. One of the Seacons wasn't uh, made uh, in the Beast Wars 2 television series. And so they've, instead of making the sixth Seacon here, they haven't made it. 
Uh, let's see. So, this is the one. All right. It has been a long time since I've looked at the names of these guys, so you'll forgive me. This is the one that people say I've been breaking. This character is actually a female. Let's see. Now, the Seacons were in Transformers Master Force. Master Force! And these were, uh, like, clones. So, like, the multiple version, like, multiples of this guy would attack City or something. They weren't individual characters. Now, I'm gonna be... Ooh, as gingerly as possible. Ooh. When I transform her... Because there is no way I want to break her. And uh, some of my friends, sorry Nick, but some of my friends have received a set of these with like two right fists. Boy, that does not feel right. That does not feel right, nor does it look right. Oh, so, are you kidding? Is that what happened? Is this shit assembled wrong? Come on now, because I got the legs, but the legs are backwards. And if we, all right, all right, all right. relax. <sighs> anyway, there she is. I believe that's a new head for this release. I had one Seacon when I was a kid one and i was missing one terracon when i was a kid but i had all the other ones so this guy was my substitute terracon so that i could form a bominess This is why I don't like to transform stuff on the show. So this is the one where just checking his fist. He's got he's got the right fist. Now, there is another set of Seacon repaints they could do, which were the um, Universe Seacons, which uh, were not, which were designed by Hasbro, supposed to come out, never came out for Transformers Universe. The Transformers Collectors Club eventually uh, put them out. I remember my first panel ever at BotCon, 2005 in Texas. I showed plastics very uh, light. There's no other way to describe it. I showed uh, a bunch of Transformers that have never been made. And those Universe Seacons were in there. And uh, someone's like, well, I don't trust uh, Alvarez. He doesn't know. Well... Hasbro were the ones who gave me those pictures. And then finally, I convinced Brian. We got to put these out. Because I really, really wanted them. So years later, when I'm working at Hasbro, we do a Seacon reissue set. 
but we didn't have any secons to photograph for the packaging. So I got my original set of G1 secons, brought them in, the shop cleaned them up, and uh, on the back of that Triangle Transformers uh, G1 reissue secon set, are pictured my G1 Transformers. That's why the sword is, uh, it's different from the, whatever, I think the sword was purple in G1 and that's chrome in the set or vice versa. Very nice, very nice. I like to keep the show short, so I'm not gonna get into all of these guys. There is one more thing I'm gonna open. And I think the time has come for me to open it because these just showed up on discount at Ollie's. Stupid me, I paid retail price for two. This is the, uh, oh, I was gonna do the G1 stuff. You know what, we'll do that next time. We don't need to open G1 stuff today. We'll do it later. It's waited this long, right? This is the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy. I believe this showed up originally at Walmart. Mystery box. Uh, we know inside it's Nemesis Prime. We know that because this is fairly old. Comes with like uh, a really cool box, right? It's got the Play-Doh inside of it. Ah, you son of a bitch. I should have cut that tape. Uh, I forget what's inside the Play-Doh. Is it more Energon cubes? The problem is they don't give you a lid for that Play-Doh. You know what I'm going to do instead of wasting the Play-Doh? Yeah, it is more energon cubes. There we go, energon cubes. I'm gonna take this to school. I work in a school. Until I open the frame shop. I'm gonna take this Play-Doh to school and use it for my kids at school. You, wonder, you might wonder, Rick Alvarez, what does Rick Alvarez teach at school? Uh, well, I work at an elementary school. I usually teach pre-K. That comes before kindergarten. There's a lot of Play-Doh in this. And then people ask, w Rick Alvarez, what do you teach the preschool kids? Simple, political science. Somebody once told me, you teach what you know. So I started with World War I, kind of lost them around 1914, and we're on Star Wars right now. I'm uh, on the fence whether I'm going to teach my class about the prequels or not. I kind of want to spare them charge our banks. Oh, that—that that is a lot of play. That's like more Play-Doh that's in a, that in a can of Play-Doh. Oh man. Well, you know what? We're always in need of Play-Doh. If you have Play-Doh, you want to donate, send it to me. I'll take it to the school. It will be appreciated. <laughs> ah, bizarre. There it is my friends nemesis prime and he comes with a bunch of accessories this one interests me the most it's the snake dude it's snake dude uh i just realized now he's in cobra colors he needs a little arashikagi symbol painted there on the back Now, this has some of the, has extra weapons. Some of these weapons are from the Power Master Optimus Prime.
Now, if you really want to blow people's minds, you do a version of this in Takara in Japan, and uh, you give them teal windshields. For those who know, they know. My problem with this, th this is great. This is great. My problem with this though, is this. What do I do with this, right? Why do we need Nemesis Prime to come with a Nemesis trailer? Right? I like the swords. He's got a bunch of swords. He's got a bunch of guns. Right? I dig that. Cool. Cool, man. But why does he need a trailer? What? Why does God need a starship? Why does God need a starship? For those who know, you know. I mean, it's cool and all, right? Hey, I got a trailer, but it's kind of like the Dead Optimus came with a trailer. Why do I need a trailer with my altered universe sleep mode? It's Dead Optimus. What, why do I need a trailer with that? This is just gonna take up valuable display space. That. I could have allocated to somewhere else. Of course he's going to get the red sword. Uh, Optimus, yeah, holds his blaster in his right hand. I would say Scourge would hold it in his left, but... You know what? We're going to get a little crazy here. Now, there's no set way to put these weapons... You put them on however you want to put them on. Mix and match. Customize as you please. That's the fun of it being a toy. This is a great toy for a kid. Optimus Prime. Nemesis Prime. With Nemesis Doe. With Nemesis Trailer and Nemesis Snake. With Nemesis Energon. Nemerjon. Hey, there we go. You know, I think when uh, Ultra Magnus came, the Play-Doh... <laughs> the Energon cubes were, like, in the Play-Doh. At least these ones are bagged. I, I have a, rem a vague memory of them coming like that. All right. Well, I'm super happy with this. I mean, this is cool. I just don't know why I need it. Anyway, that was cut the tape. Frame store coming August 2021. I'll be opening up a pop culture art gallery inside of it. I know a lot of artists. So you might see some familiar stuff. You might see some stuff that looks familiar that you've never seen before. And there's other things in pop culture. Lots of things are art. Everyone should create art. Everyone can create art. And if you ever need help from me to help you advance your art, plenty of people were nice enough to help me. I'm here to help you. Be nice to one, be nice to one another. Be kind to each other. Spread kindness. Remember, we're all human. We all have the same blood. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Don't forget to vote.